Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. I got a, another tutorial for you guys. First let's get this YouTube stuff out of the way. If you like the content make sure to smash that like button and then share it on your social media. When you share it on your social media follow me on that bird app. The link is in the description. Subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell for all if you haven't done it yet already. And leave some comments underneath the video if you've got any questions or comments. Just leave it below the video and I'll get back to you. I always read my comments, guys. That's all the free and easy things you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, look in the description. Use the Ko-Fi link for a one-time tip or the subscribe star to join as a channel member. Otherwise, underneath the YouTube video, use the join button or the super thanks button. All right, guys. Let's get into this. Roll that intro. Okay guys, we've done our weapons racks. Now we're gonna do some weapons plaques. So we're gonna go ahead and same thing, type in weapon rack into the filter. And we are gonna choose the activators. Now, first, the first thing we're gonna do uh, is the weapons rack activator for the just the regular weapons rack. Now, this should be the one I'm looking for. That is not. That is for a display case. We'll get to that. And that's the mid. And preview this one. That's that activator. That's good. So we're going to need... That's an activator weapon plaque this one right here preview yes this is the one there's not one for just the player house actually there is right here so preview use this one the weapon rack plaque activator go ahead and we're going to move that over there it, it will show up in your warehouse as backwards just go ahead and, oops Make sure your snapped grid, snapped angle are, are on when you're building it so everything lines up. And we're going to go ahead and we need this activator here. So we're going to go ahead and move this over here. And that will be fine. I'm going to go ahead and turn that around just to, just to be safe. Because I turned everything else around. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over to the side and this is just like with these right here with the uh weapons racks so double click on this and go to link ref double click in the link ref box select your reference which is the weapons plaque this needs a keyword so wr and use the wr trigger okay and you want to go ahead and then do link it back the other way and go ahead and link it there now you need the act wr activator keyword right here okay so that's good and we're going to go ahead and move that back in there we're going to select them all move these over to the side right here so we can select them save your mod and go ahead and copy this and then i'm going to go in my test tutorial cell here and where i have my weapons racks from before I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick this 
right here above it. Now I'm going to turn off my markers because I want to turn off my snap to grid, snap to angle when I place it in my in my test cell here or player home because you want to just turn it just a little bit. That might be enough. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just kind of take it out a little bit. So we're going to turn our markers back on and we're going to check it with the 3D data. That's good. Okay. And turn our markers back off. Check the, this here. This is good. This will work. So now we'll go ahead and do our shield, uh, our shield and sword plaques like you see in Breeze Home above the bed. Okay, so this is the, this is pretty much the same thing. We are going to use the uh, weapons racks for the like this, but we need the weapons rack right player house. This one here so preview this right here that's good so we need that one so we're gonna pull that across now like i said to come up backwards so i'm just gonna spin around and turn my markers off here move this over uh also remember when building turn your snap to grid snap to angle on so i have this right here and I need the one for the player house mid. This is the small, the small circle like that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick that right there. And that will fit right up. Now we need the left one. Oh. And that will fit up just like that. Select all of those and move them a little bit there so I can work here. So we are going to need the weapons rack left activator player home. So we're going to just fit that in there. And then we're going to need the mid like that. And then we're going to need the right one right here. So we're going to get all those and we're going to take them. We're going to pull them out so we can work on it. And we also want to, we also want to, you can just take this and put it in your cell and it'll, it, you can put whatever you want on it, but you might want to have, you might want to have the shield and sword on it. Like you see in um, Breeze Home. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use an iron shield. We're going to drag that over, place this in here and use the W key for the gizmos to make it upright. And then we want to go to weapon, same thing, iron sword. We want to do the same thing with our great sword, put that in there. Now you can use, you can change these after you build this. If you want to have, I don't know, Daedric swords, shields, that kind of thing. You, you can change these with the search and replace. So we're going to duplicate this. And we're going to just kind of take that over there. So that's the setup for that right there. Now we need to link this stuff. And this, this stuff here is the same thing as the other uh, weapons racks and the shield plaque that we did. So we need to go this. And we're going to go ahead and choose that. And there's this WR and choose our WR trigger. That's good. Okay. And we want to do this one here. Same thing. WR trigger. Just like that. 
And then the last one, same thing. WR trigger is our keyword. Okay. Then we'll go back and link them back to the activators. WR. And the keyword is WR activator. So this way, this way you can, uh, when you do this, it, it ends up being like, once you uh, figure it all out, pretty easy, not too hard at all. And once you build one and you get it working after you test it, then you don't really have to do anything. You can just copy it out of your warehouse. All right. We have all those done. Now we're going to want to link these swords and shield up. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click our activator here. And we're just going to add a new one. And we're just going to pick our sword. See it adds that in. And we'll go ahead and do it with the shield. These actually don't need a keyword. And then we'll do it with the last great sword here. Just like that. Then we're going to select this and this. And we're going to move that. Don't need that selected. Then we're going to move that to. Try that again. Move that to there. Select all those. And put it right there just like that. And that'll work right there. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to flip them around because. It's just easier when the with the COC marker. So you get to that and save your mod. Now we're going to go ahead and put them in the test cell. So we're going to copy those. As soon as I come into my test cell, I'm going to turn the snap to grid and snap to angle off. And then I am going to put these right here on this so i'm going to paste these in here that i'm going to change turn off my markers use my c key to drag that out a little bit just a little bit and then i want to rotate it just a little just a little like that so that should all work make sure to save your mod and we'll go into game and test this out. Okay, guys, here we are back in Breeze Home. Let's go in our tutorial cell here. And see if everything works. Okay, those are up on the wall. Great. Let's go ahead and take this here. Iron sword, activate it. And uh, grab this iron sword. Let's see if we can put this up here. Yep, and that works perfectly. Now we will take this iron gray sword, this and this, and the shield, and go ahead and choose that. That works, and should be should this should work just fine. And then we'll choose our iron shield here that we have and that fits up perfectly so everything works there okay now we're gonna move on to armor mannequins